Hello, I'm Entrylism and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program 1.0 Career Mode. With the, uh, the you know, fact that we've done a lot of rover science around the KSC, I think we're going to continue doing that, but we need to do uh, stuff, you know, especially the uh, the new th uh, temperature things. We've got thermometers, temperature things, thermometers. Come on, let's see them. Uh, and also there's a load of cockpit stuff to do. So let's just set up the rover we already have, and uh, then we'll have something that can do all the science around the KSC, and we can get a crap ton more science, because this thing, my god, you can get a lot of science. Just right on your doorstep. I don't. I don't know why NASA ever bothers going to space. They just need to have a look at the Everglades. We have science available. Temperature scan. Temperature scan from runway. The jet exhaust skews the temperature readings, and you have to throw out the results. And we get 1.4 science on that. So let us fire ourselves up and push ourselves onwards. This might take a little while, so just bear with me. Oh, maybe we should just call it and just take this craft back rather than trying to force it. Oh! Oh, once this gets over the rise, we're gonna have to turn off that jet engine really sharpish. Oh, there we go, there we go. There we go. Oh, whoa. Oh, it was fun. Oh, God! God damn it, material bays. I hate these material bays. Ah! Well, at least we got most of the <gasps> We didn't get the temperature! No! Again. Let's try it again. Oh. Hmm. Well, at least we can recover both vessels and there isn't, like, anything we've lost. We've got some science. We've got our funds back, we just have to get uh, whoever's in the front capsule back. Who, who was in the front capsule? Uh, Jeb. Sorry, Jeb. Recover you. It's all good, Jeb. It's all good. We got you, man. We got you. All right, let's, uh... <laughs> I think the current problem with this craft is, um... Kind of the lack of wheels. We could probably do with more wheels. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to remove some of the batteries to have more wheels. Well, it won't have launched with full kerbals, will it? Damn, I'll have to relaunch it with full kerbals. No, it has. Okay. Okay. Now we're next. There's there's more stuff to do. There are more sciences to be done. Come over here. I need to talk to you, tracking station. We've got words to be had. Come on, thrust more. There we go, there we go, right. Crew report. Kerbin's grasslands, you look forward to opening the capsule door and smelling the fresh uh, earthy smell of grass. Oh yeah, we have to wear those stupid spec suits even on Kerbin. Whose great idea was that? The goo takes the shape of a leaf. You look forward to open the capsule door. Oh, we got that one. Okay. Uh, the materials lab has grass stains on it now from the landing. We didn't land. So much for returning it to manufacturer for refund when we're done. Let's get the temperature scan. A pleasant place to live. And EVA report. As you go trudging through the grass, you hope you don't step on a cow paddy. The spaceship will stink from the rest of the tr We didn't have a- it's not even a spaceship. Come on, guys. Ugh. Tell the difference. These Kerbins, we need to, like, train them better. They need training. Right, um, where are we gonna go? I mean, I could go to the mountains, but I'm lazy. So we're not gonna go to the mountains. 
Like, seriously, we have so much fuel left. We've, like, used, what, 1.5%? Somewhere over here, there is something special. Oh my god, look at our surface speed. We need to get that down. I need to brake, actually. Somewhere over here, there is something special. <gasps> there it is! Herbal technicians have been wondering about this for a while, and now we have the science. We can investigate, explore, and exterminate. Maybe not the last one. What is it? It is a thing of wonder that we've wondered about for a very long time. I can't break. We're gonna we're gonna shoot past, aren't we? Bob. Go, explore. Tell us all about it. Do, 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 do. <gasps> we need to study this more closely. Unfortunately, there are no experiments available for it. This is one of the things that I really do think needs to have experiments available, because look at this! There is science to be done here! So much science! Doo -doo. There is science to be done. There is no doubt about it. There must be science. It's like Bob in Carbonite. Do that again. See if we can just get Bob's head coming out. Come on, Bob. Doo -doo. Let us get straight back to our vessel. And then we'll be uh be getting the science and being happy, because wow, we should have a lot of science now. Yeah! Right, well let's recover our vessel. We should probably start putting flags down everywhere we go. I think maybe flags would be a good idea. I mean, maybe not on Kerbin. 22.5 science. Very nice. We've actually got the ability to get another tech level now. Lovely. Lovely. Let's get ourselves some science. What do you need, by the way? You're looking at like 90 science for those. Ugh. Okay. Yeah, it's a little bit beyond us. I think what we'll go for is uh, general construction. General construction. Uh, we get launch clamps. And we also get struts. We get some other stuff. But those are the important parts, right? Let's get that. Bam. Right, I think that next time we uh, we try something a little bit more more complex. Maybe we even try going to the moon. Now the problem is with going to the moon. We're going to be very, very limited. Very limited. Because we won't be able to actually launch very much. We're going to be able to... Yeah, let's, let's do it right now. We're going to upgrade this. There we go. Max vessel weight is now much higher, 140 tons as opposed to 18. But we're still limited by our 30 parts, so we can't upgrade this for a very long time. We need a lot more money. Um, we're going to try and figure out how we can do that. We might have to ooh, fly by the moon. Mm -hmm. How actually you go? It's completion, almost 100. <gasps> we can do this. We can fly by the moon. I, I think we can fly by the moon with 30 parts. It'd be tough, but I think we can do it. What we've got to do is just uh, focus on big, big, big sections of rocket and not parts sections of rocket if you get my drift. I found a problem. So I've got Tech Life Support installed and as you can see we've got, you know, enough for uh, three days, three days, three days. And a Kerbin day is six hours. Um, our Kerbals will be able to get to the moon in about eight hours. So there and back, that's, you know, 16 hours, which is two hours shy of three days. So we'd just be able to be, you know, get in under the wire on the food, the water and the oxygen. A Kerbal can go about oxygen for two hours. So we'd just be able to make it under the wire. Electricity, on the other hand, we only have two hours worth of electricity in the command pod. We now have enough to almost get to the moon. We would have to go and do that to get to the moon and get back. And that would leave us absolutely no margin for error. Actually, we'd be We'd be really, really tight. Really tight. We would be running in the extra two hours we have 
before we die from electric charge lack, which I think is like you 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 freeze to death or something. Um, this number of parts seventeen. We've got a limit of thirty parts. We cannot. We cannot go to the moon. We can't go anywhere near the moon. Uh... We need to rethink our strategy. We can't go to the moon yet. Nowhere near the moon. Possibly high curve in orbit. 250 kilometers. I don't think we can do that. I think we'd be dead by the time we got there and back. We're going to have to do something completely different. We can't go anywhere near... Anywhere beyond low curve and orbit, we're stuck in the LKO until we can upgrade the uh, the space uh, the uh, not the space plane hang the uh, the VAB. Once we upgrade the VAB, we can do whatever we want. It leaves us a lot more options. But until we can upgrade the VAB, we are stuck here. We need to grind some money, and I'm looking forward to that so much. Okay, so new plan. Uh, we get an advance of six. We get ten. We're gonna take this. Um, we need to go. Take a crew report in flight below at sector call. We'll take that. And we also have any nice, like, test missions. That's not worth much. That's not worth much. Oh, uh, we need to test our uh, large booster orbiting curve. And we'll never be able to get it up that high. No. No. Uh -huh. This one's not bad. I will take this one. Unless, you know, we've got anything else. That's escape trajectory out of curve. And I don't want to risk that. Radial parachute. Oh, uh, this one's good as well. Yeah, we can do that. I would like to take the... That's landed? Oh, I could have done that easily. Um, I can't take any more, though. Damn it. Okay. Right, what we need to do? What do we need to do? Crew report. And radial parachute. What if we can combine both of them? Right, okay, that's easy enough. We just take the plane over there. We bring the plane back. That's money in the bank right there. What about this? Um, test the parachute in flight over Kerbin. We need to be flying at over 14 and a speed of over 400. We can do that. Okay. Let's quickly knock that one out of the park. So, here we are. We have our lower solid stage with parachutes to make it come back. We've got a little liquid stage here, parachutes to make sure we can get that back. And we've got our top stage with some thermometers as well, so we can do some thermometer science. And also, if we launch over this way, we might actually be able to reach this marker and, uh... Hopefully, be able to knock two birds with one stone. So, T, three, two, one. Hmm, maybe we could do them with a little bit higher uh, thrust limiting, but very well, it works, it works. I'm not going to question it too much. How are we doing? Oh, we've got science. Temperature scan. I'll take it. <laughs> I'm not sure we're going to get high enough, actually, with this. It wasn't really designed to go sideways, it was designed to go straight up, and then I was like, you know what, I can hit this marker as well. Maybe get multiple sciences, because all the sciences are a good plan. These parachutes are out, good. Let's check our mission objectives. There we go, notes. We just got to get to an altitude. Maybe we're going too fast if we uh, continue. Crew report. Temperature scan. Yes! Yes! Temperature scan. Yes! Did we do it all? Did we do it? No, we just got to go down and test the parachutes. Okay! Hmm, our speed might drop before we get to that altitude, so I'm thinking we're going to have to keep the rest of our fuel to be able to accelerate ourselves. Because we need to be above 400 meters per second when testing these parachutes out. Tested! More science! Awesome! Take crew report. 
Are we going to hit the sector? I think we're actually to the side. I think it's a fail on that one. But hey, we got the test done for the parachutes. I'm going to call that a win. And we got 16.5 science for that. Very nice. We got our funds back. It didn't tell us about that stage that was in flight. Hmm. Okay. What we got here? Um, perform visual analysis of Kerbin. I'll have to check where this is. What's... Oh, fair number of locations. Large advance. Large completion. Ooh. Ooh, that's tempting. Okay. There's the launch uh, escape system. Test this at the launch site. You literally just want me to test the decoupler. Done. Okay, so heading for the site, which will get us some money. Just got to travel all the way there. This is going to be one hell of a grind at the moment to be able to unlock the uh, the VAB. That's the one thing I don't like about uh, the VAB sort of unlocks, like the building unlocks, is that they're just so expensive you end up grinding some stuff. And it's not particularly that obvious in normal, like in normal mode I could go into the moon and I could get that big payout. Problem is, with TAC life support, um, I can't. Eh, it's understandable, it's partly the mod's fault. Alright, what's the objectives here? Crew report at low level, which is fine. Um, we're near the sector. Oh well, we're fine. We're not even going like uh, past the speed of sound. We're actually going 0 0.94 Mac, by the way. I love this mod. Kerbal flight data, so good. Also, this is Kerbal flight uh, indicator. Yeah, Kerbal flight indicators. That's where I'm pointing. That's my velocity vector, and that's the horizon mark. Uh, this is Kerbal flight data. Which changes depending on what you're doing. So I'm flying, and it's like, cool, you're flying at low level, you're a plane. We need to know your max speed, your thrust, atmospheric pressure, altitude. Oh, love it. That's altitude above terrain, by the way. Love these mods. These mods, I I think they're core for my vanilla experience. I, I will install them every time, even on a mostly vanilla game. I just like them for data. There we go, right. Entering sector. Crew report. Done. Right, we've done that. Let's uh, head for home. Gonna be a bumpy landing. We can make it. We can make it. We can take off at a fairly low speed, so we can obviously land at a very low speed as well. Right, we can drop a little bit more height. Oh, must be very close to the terrain right now. It's hard to see. Oh, we bounced. Okay, okay, we bounced. It's fine. Break, 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 break. Come on. What a good landing. That was a great landing. Don't don't even knock it. Don't even try to knock it. It was a great landing, and you know it. Recover vessel. Contract complete. We got some more cash. Woo. <laughs> We've got to do a few more of these contracts. No science. Sadly, got all our funds back. Got Jeb back. Contract complete, paying out a nice 10 grand. How much more do we need? We need 450. We need, <laughs> we need 200 grand. Oh, yeah. Where are we going to get 200 grand? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Perform visual analysis of Kerbin. Below, near. Okay, right. Do these locations appear on the map? Because if they do. I'll take him. They're all up there. I think they're going to the North Pole again. Okay. Oh, I have to land there? Uh -huh. 
EVA report. It pays out so much though. It pays out, what, 60 for completion, 30 for the advance, and then, you know, between 7 and 9 for each spot. So we're talking a grand total of about uh, 120? 120? Just shy of 120? Yeah. We need to take it. I'll be going up there, doing a flight. Um, it's mostly going to be sped up for you guys, but that'll be next episode. We're going to end the episode here. Hopefully you enjoyed. If you have, please remember to leave a like. You're not subscribed. Well, please consider subscribing to see more. But, you know, until next time, and until we do a little bit more science grinding, of which I will start speeding up massively, um, stay shiny.